what would you say to a, a leader which is risk adverse? Is there a formula like there is a you can risk like 10% of you could take I don't know. Is there a, is there a formula that they could use to take some calculated risk? Yeah, I, w- I wish there was a formula, right? And not everything is so calculatable and actually if you look at how people make decisions, a lot of people make their decisions based on their gut feeling. And so you can do all these analysis, you create this Excel spreadsheet, but you can make it go one way or the other based on your gut feeling. And that's really what people do. So there is no one formula. You just have to, yeah, in some way, maybe go with your intuition, go with your experience or bring in advisors, bring in consultants or people who have that exposure to be able to tell you, you know, is this something uh, that I'm going to be able to, can can I tolerate the, the risk? And I think a good way to do that is also to ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, really write down the worst case scenario how much would you lose if that were to happen and then you yeah. realize actually it's not so bad and when you look at the upside there's there's a lot more to yeah. gain there absolutely and also i see something a trend in decision making especially in as you say more maybe more established organizations where they have a track record and they have a when you have more or you have a lot there is also a lot to lose but when you are a smaller company there is less to lose and i have found that there is a trend in decision making where instead of us looking at what would be the best idea or the best possibility here for we're looking at what's the less riskiest idea that risky idea that we can can we live with with the failure here and we choose actually a less risky option rather than the best option that we know we're going to probably propel us forward yeah absolutely uh, it's kind of like investing in the stock market Market, right. If you want to invest in a fund that is likely to give you a high upswing, it's also likely to give you a quick downswing if the market yeah. goes bad. 